So it tells me, you know, give me a little feel, what is this item all about? So is it a catch weight item? You know, this is sliced cheese, so it's not. But if it were a catch weight item, what is my catch weight unit of measure? So uh, I can set up the relationship there. I can determine my catch weight pricing. And so I can see in any given moment how many cases I have, how many pounds do I have, how, you know, what is my value of my inventory per pound, but how many cases do I have on a shelf. I also have the opportunity to go in and look at procurement units. Now our procurement unit is how we actually manage the purchasing for a particular item. And so uh, all within one system. So, you know, if uh, in the past you've had to use Power Warehouse and then maybe you've used IDS or Retalics or, you know, IDS and Retalics, AFS, um, or, or any of the other uh, various systems that are available in the industry, all within one system now using Dynamics NAV, you have everything you need to run your entire operation. And at our procurement unit, now I can see at a glance everything I need to see for this item that shows me expected quantities, it shows me average lead times, who do I normally buy it from? I can buy it from any number of sources, but do I have a preferred vendor? How do I buy it? And then from here, I actually can look at this particular uh, card. We support full seasonality, so if this is a seasonal item, it lets me know that. It also informs me, so as I'm running through statistical trends, it will actually tell me, hey, I think this item is behaving seasonally, even though you didn't tell me it was a seasonal item, I think you should look at that. It gives me replenishment planning, it shows me forecasts, um, it allows me to do usage redirect. This is an important um, feature for people that are using R&D or folks, distributors, where one item might replace another item. And so what it allows us to do with usage redirect is it says, hey, I want you to take all the history that I see for this American cheese and I want you to redirect it to this new American cheese because I need that trend data to help me continue to make sure that I'm purchasing it right. So our purchasing team gets all the decision support they need in order to do one-click purchasing, get all their recommendations, and then make a decision as to what they're going to buy for a particular period, whether that's a week or a day. Um, the other things that we may want to do, again, in customizing, there's an awful lot of information here on these tabs. Some things make sense, some things may not make sense. On any one of these items, you could go in and customize this page, and whether that's a fast tab, maybe, maybe that's ribbons across the top, we can customize all of this and remove fields. Um, on our invoicing, maybe there's information there we don't necessarily need to see. There's an awful lot of stuff there. Maybe indirect costs don't matter. You know, maybe the the uh, the VAT doesn't matter. And so we could remove any information we don't want to see, and it will automatically update that card for us. The other thing that we do in terms of costs and price is especially with commodity items, we have market cost. And so within Dynamics NAV, we support your last direct cost, we support any standard cost you might track, and then we also have created what we call market cost. So when our supply chain notifies us that tomatoes are spiking next week, we can go in and through a market cost worksheet we can actually adjust our costs relative to the market and make sure that we're handling our prices in our order guides dynamically so that we can preserve our margins. 
On the converse side, we can we can actually pick up a little spread. If the market's going down, we could set a delay with effective dates and make sure that the update uh, occurs so that we remain competitive. But, you know, if we can pick up a day or two of pricing that moves in our favor, obviously that improves our margin, which helps us do a better job with our business. We also support full item traceability. So as you can see with item tracking, we support lot numbers, we support expiration calculation, and with one click, we can go through and we can see all the complete supply chain, all the customers that purchased a particular item that came from a particular lot, so that if, God forbid, but we all know it happens, uh, one of our supply chain partners notifies us of a recall. Within 10 or 15 seconds, we can set a filter and notify all the customers that have been affected by that item and pull the item off of our own shelves that are, exist within our building. For those test recalls, or you know, anyone who has a USDA uh, inspected facility, we can show our inspectors within 10 or 15 seconds. We can do a sample recall uh, and within certainly 30 minutes produce all the reports that are necessary uh, rather than the many hours that are required today for most of our uh, friends in the food business in order to uh, demonstrate their compliance. So then the next thing that we set up um, has to do with the, the truck routes. Uh, while there are lots and lots of robust logistics packages, uh, Dynamics Nav has found that for a lot of mid-sized distributors, we really just need to have a little bit more basic, give me some delivery route capability without necessarily turning my world upside down. And so I can go into delivery routes, and it just shows my logistics and planning manager based, remember when we were back on the customer card and we assigned them a route day. As orders come in, it shows me the case, the cube, the weight, so that I can make sure I can actually get this truck out. If I have any return orders that need to be picked up by my driver and brought back, it lets me know about that cube case and cube and weight as well. God forbid we'd ever case or cube a, uh, return orders, but uh, I suppose it could happen. One creative way that we have seen customers use the return order case and cube, though, is in backhauls. And so, uh, you know, we all know we can drive down our logistics costs if we do a uh, uh, backhauls when they're available to us and we pick up our own product and uh, the return order casing cube is a is a nice way to be able to handle that as well. These all have uh, the ability to drill into them so if we if we click on any one of these it shows us everything that's on that order cases. Um, it shows us the customers that are on this order so if I click in and I actually want to look at this delivery route worksheet now I'm looking at just that Monday truck. Again, case, cube, and weight. Shows me the customers. It shows me their delivery times. It shows me the sales order. Uh, if I've got a question on a sales order, I could drill in and I could take a look at that, and it would actually show me that sales order right here from the list. I could um, also reorder it. So I've got a normal delivery order. We all know how our days go. So in this case, I've got a fairly light day. I've got two deliveries, and they normally go one and two. I could actually change the delivery order for this week so that it goes two and one, and it will revert for next week back to its normal delivery, but for this week, it would let me run it in the order I need to run it, you know, because sometimes we've, we've got a customer we've got to take special care of, and so we're going to move them around in the delivery order. Um, 
So pretty straightforward. It's nice functionality. It gives us some basic uh, ability to better manage our delivery, better build our trucks, and better make sure we're taking care of the limited fleet resources that we have available to us. The next area uh, that is, you know, a huge opportunity, and many distributors and manufacturers are using TrackMax or another standalone system, but we support full rebate management. And so we can set up rebate programs with our various partners. So in this case, I've got a, uh, several set up as examples. I can do rebates any number of ways. So in this case, you'll see I've got a craft rebate that applies to the entire brand. I've also got another rebate that has uh, that pertains to an item, but these are all driven off of a rebate card. And uh, you know, I you can tell pretty quickly if you're following my data. We're a little bit generous when we set up this uh, this sample, but Kraft Foods on their cream cheese Philly box uh, is is telling us that they're going to give us a fifty dollar rebate on every case, and so uh, it shows us that we have earned already $15,000 because somebody figured out pretty quick that that was a heck of a rebate, so they went and bought 300 cases. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to make an apology because I'm certain that we're not paying that rebate. But again, we can go in and look at any particular program. We can see here that, uh, you know, the vegetable oil spray, is set up for this price group. It could be done for price groups. It could be done for a particular customer. So if we're going after a contract and we have to negotiate special uh, promotional consideration in order for us to win the business, we can work with our vendors for a particular customer. It will help track it and make sure that we know what we've earned, we know what we've invoiced, and we can make sure that we go out and get those invoices and get our money back so that we capture that sheltered income that helps us preserve the margin behind the margin. Uh, you know, as, as we're all aware, it's those loose dollars that sometimes slip between the cracks that make it very difficult for us to manage this. This is also done very quickly from a single report. So if I go to a roll center, and again, the roll center is like our ruby slippers. So, you know, if when customers move around and they can't, um, they lose place in the in the system, which a lot of new users will tell us. If you click your roll center, it brings you right back to that home page where you're looking at the data that tells you what you need to do. And from my actions, I could actually look at my rebate program overview. It'll show me what I've got available. It'll show me any invo uninvoiced rebate amounts. It'll take me right into these entries and show me what I have. And then I could send this as a re an attachment over to my vendor. So now with one click, I could bring up my vendor, Freya. I can hit send, and now I just sent her all my invoices, my invoice document numbers, the quantities, and the amounts. So all that documentation that, are, you know, we don't want to say that our vendors are dealing with us in bad faith, but, you know, sometimes they ask for a little bit of additional information that's a little tricky for us to run down. So we make it easy for you in just a couple of clicks to provide the information that helps you collect that money. Now I hope this has been an awful lot of information in a very short period of time, but I hope that we've shown you how Microsoft and ABC Computers have worked together using our many years of experience in food manufacturing and food distribution to create a system that speaks to the particular needs of our industry. So right now I'm going to wrap up uh, this portion of our presentation. We're going to open up the lines and uh, let you ask any questions of either myself or uh, our good friend Deb from Mrs. Jerry's. So at this point I'll, I'll turn it back over to 
Control Central, and uh, we'll see if there's any questions.